It is super hot today with a heat index of like 105, 106, so we're not taking the FJR out. It's just too darn hot. Instead, we're gonna take out this 2016 KTM 1290 Super Adventure. It's gonna be a good day. Showing an outside air temp of about 90 degrees right now. There's no cloud cover, so there's no getting away from this heat. In fact, the heat index is supposed to be up over 100 degrees. But when the good folks at Ride On Moto lend you a KTM 1290 Super Adventure for the weekend, you gotta go test it out. Uh, you might be able to tell on the display right here, I've got the two up. That's because Kristen is on the back. We're not going to take this thing on an overnighter. We're just going to go out, run it through its paces. Uh, we did a little highway up to this point. Uh, we're going to go hit up some good country roads, state routes. Uh, may even get a little bit of gravel along the way. Just to see what this thing will do. I'm really interested in this bike and its capabilities. So I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride today, and I hope you enjoy it. type of people, those that get in the left lane and just stay there. I didn't do that when I was in your state of Michigan a couple weekends ago. Currently riding on a road we call Corridor H, uh, not too far from Moorefield, West Virginia. And you can tell this is just one of the most beautiful parts of the country there is, which is why I like to ride out here. There's another moto vlogger not far from me. You guys ought to check out if you're enjoy the scenery of this video because I know he's got a few videos riding up to the same area I'm headed today his name is Lucy Boosie I'll tag him uh, either up here in the corner or down in the comment section below so you can check out some of his stuff uh, he obviously rides a Suzuki Hayabusa quite different than what I'm riding right now stop there at Blackwater Falls. Next stop is to find a cold place to sit and something to eat. This is downtown Davis, West Virginia. And we'll be out of downtown Davis today. We'll be out of here in just a few seconds. That's about it. lunch back there. Couldn't even finish all of it, but looks like we got a rain cloud, or at least a dark cloud up above us. It was calling for about 40% chance of scattered, but eh, we'll either get wet or we'll get lucky and miss it. This is a pretty gnarly road. Currently on Lane, I think it's called Lanesville Road. Taking it up to Dolly Sods, which even though I've lived in West Virginia almost my entire life, I've never been to. I mean, why wouldn't you take a $20,000 motorcycle off-road that doesn't belong to you? That's what it's made to do. You know, I know I said earlier in the video that Lucy Boosie likes to ride out in this part of the state, but uh, <laughs> something tells me he's not bringing his Hayabusa up this road. If he does, though, much respect. 
I would like to just remind everyone that I am riding a 550 pound motorcycle with someone on the back. This is unbelievable that a, that a bike handles this well uh, off road. I mean, this is, this is off road. I don't. I know it's. I know there's some gravel on it, but th this is off road. And uh, man, it's just soaking this thing right up. And again, I'm not a good off road rider. Looks like we're out of gravel and it's time for dirt. You can't help but feel just a little bit like Charlie Borman and Ewan McGregor. riding off-road, but um, I'm much happier back here on the asphalt. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride up to Blackwater Falls and Dolly Sides today. Almost back to Winchester, which means I'm almost back home. Now that I've had a full day to really put this thing through its paces, I'm going to do a full review of this KTM 1290 Super Adventure. I will link it up here. I hope you enjoyed today's ride, and I will talk to you guys again soon. <laughs>